Julie Ellinger here, yet again, with another fantastic episode about art journaling. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. I hope you're happy. Great. Well, let's get started. So, I have here um, a stencil that had some ink on it, and I just went ahead and put it on this page as not to waste my precious ink. So, I did a page previous to this, but I wasn't really happy with the outcome, so I'm going to start on this one. Um, I know a lot of people, when they get, you know, they do a page that they're not happy with, they usually just gesso over it or rip it out, but I work with my mistakes and I, you know, kept moving on, but um, anyway, I finished it. It looks okay but I'm ready to move on to another page. So you guys are gonna get to see me do a new page. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit so you guys can see better. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right, so now I've got my new gelatos here. I'm just gonna kind of whimsy this all over the page. seventies page. <laughs> kind of happened unexpectedly. <clears throat> now usually I would take a black pen and write on this or do something with this. Um, but I feel like this page doesn't really have a point. And I'm okay with that. Um, you know, sometimes I just like to leave it a background. You know, it doesn't have to have a quote on it or anything. And that's, you know, that's not something that I do often because I usually have a cute little quote or something, but I just feel like this page just is what it is. And I think I'm gonna leave it alone. I think that's it. All right, and this is the final result. And as usual, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please and thank you. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.